Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are not going back in Gruntilda's lair this part. In fact, one of the secrets that I was talking about is actually out here. Well, first there's Gruntilda, you know, having a good time under the rock, getting used to her new uh, prison of sorts. <laughs> But that's not really the secret that I'm thinking about here. The secret occurs, or at least it starts, when you get the jiggy in Treasure Trove Cove's ye old sandcastle type place. So I think you know what we'll be getting from this. Well, you might not know exactly what we're going to be doing, but you probably will know what we're going to be getting from this. So anyway, stand in the middle of this carpet. Go into first person mode here. Hold up until you see up. Oh, I must not be close enough. Until you see bottles picture and then dialogue should pop up. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. I assure you, it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you, this is possible. I just need to refine the, the special spots. And they have to be extra close. There we go! <laughs> I thought you had to be in the center. Oh, yeah, I found the secret. Behold the moving picture game! <laughs> well, well, <laughs> guess they're gonna have to see. So, what this is. Oh, great, we got the graphical bug. <laughs> We've got a moving picture puzzle here. And we gotta pop those pieces in place before the timer runs out. A to pick up and put down a piece. Got it? Good. Uh, as per the usual jigsaw strategy. And this is really lagging. Oh! Uh oh. Um. Oh! Um, okay, we made it! <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but we made it! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can put together here. Yeah, this is definitely not working properly in the emulator. But it's working good enough, I guess. But yeah, this is a lot more <clears throat> line-free and, uh, you know, less lag in terms of- Hold on a sec, do I have something going on here? Uh, no, it says sync game to audio. That should be the thing that stops the thing from pausing every so often. Uh, maybe I'll turn that off just to see. <laughs> maybe I'll make a difference. Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, obviously, the first puzzle is pretty dang easy, so uh, we can probably boom this. <laughs> Why are you doing this game? You should not be doing this. This does not make for an enjoyable experience. But at the same time, I'm not really, um... I guess you could say, messing with the game, because... The thing about it is that when it pauses, like, everything pauses. I'm not, I'm not able to move or anything like that to cheat it or anything, so... Yeah, <laughs> although I do kind of get a glimpse of... I guess the moving picture in a stopped state, which kind of takes a little of the challenge out, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna play with the settings a little bit. Maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> See what we can do. So, um, after completing one of these things, you will be able to use a code on ye ol' sandcastle to do something with your character, and this really just does not work well in an emulator, does it? <laughs> uh, okay, hold on, I wanna play with some of the stuff here. Oh, wait, wait, more dialogue, what? Well, I would like to do that, but uh, that I didn't think that dialogue was gonna pop out right now, but anyway! Well, it appears as if I gotta live with it. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like that there's any way to do so from here. Alas, alas. So, it looks like I'm gonna have to just deal with it and get through these things as quick as possible so I don't have too much of a headache. <laughs> it looked like, yeah, it was one of the top ones there at one point. 
Ah, yeah, there it goes. You stinker. I hate emulation. <laughs> okay, that yeah, goes there. There we go. Just gotta get these all done in one try, preferably. <laughs> the faster that I do it, the faster that we can get out of here. <laughs> I think there's eight of these, too, so, uh,. This is gonna be a little bit painful, I think. Oh man, which one of these middle ones is it? <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. Aha! Uh, by the way, if you don't, if you can't tell, uh, the idea is to match up the black and white uh, with the color picture and whatnot. So yeah, it's just the thing of that. Hey, wait a second. Is this a? Oh, I was gonna say, is that a corner piece with the extra tip? It shouldn't be like that, but it wasn't. It was overlapped with the other one. But yeah, basically it's all about visualization, using the whole moving picture thing. And uh, even though it's it's only a 20-piece puzzle, it's still pretty tricky as a result of that being a moving picture type thing. Come on, unfreeze already. <laughs> there you go. So we got another code to enter at Sandcastle, but no, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just gonna continue to annoy myself with this glitchy emulated game. <laughs> Alright, here we go, and look at this, pieces have rotated. What is this? What is this? Yeah, there are now pieces that flipped around. You gotta switch them with the... Ugh, switch them with the C buttons. So, yes, do so and do your best. Ah, uh, wait, wait, that's... it goes over... Here. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 that's, yeah, it's got to go up on, yeah, top, because all the uh, arrows on the pieces are at the bottom left corner, so yes, ah, you freezing son of a, <laughs> at least it unfreezes, but still, still, uh, that should go like that. This should go like that. Um, 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 wait, 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 no, this looks right here. Yes. And this also has got to look right there. Yes. No, not the freeze. At least it's unfreezing and it's not like crashing or anything like that. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Um, this looks like it goes there. Um, how about there? No, no, not quite. No? Okay, that's alright. We got plenty of time to pull this off. Especially with the freezes. <laughs> I think I tapped it in place before it froze there for a second. Yes, I did. <laughs> it was a feel thing there that kind of told me where it went. I mean, that it was going in place. Uh-huh. And... Can I get it before it freezes again? Maybe, maybe, probably not. Oh, I got it in place, but it didn't quite snap into place. <laughs> and we're gonna get another code, and I think you're gonna see the pattern here. Yeah, it's getting a little bit obvious as to how the pattern is going here with ye old codes. All right, here we go. Next puzzle. Stop freezing, you son. <laughs> Um, 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 wait, 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 no, no, it goes right there, yes. Hurry, 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 gotta go, gotta go, no! <laughs> uh, where did that? You stinky emulator. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, but, uh, this is not something that I anticipated when I was uh, testing out the stuff for the walkthrough. Because, <laughs> you know, I only tested the main gameplay. I didn't really go for mini games and stuff like this. Uh, that's alright. As long as I can finish, it will be okay. Look at that baby freeze. <laughs> oh man, this is a really dark puzzle. So it's kind of, kind of annoying to actually see what you're lining up here. <laughs> But I think, I guess that's the point, you know, that's the challenge of it. As it get harder and harder as you go, and freeze more and more as you go. No, it just seems to be freezing at the the same rate every time. I should count the seconds on how, how, many, how long it takes to freeze. Or you could do that if you'd like, I don't know. I should probably be focusing on the puzzle more than anything. Oh, 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 no, 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 this one, yes. Yeah, I am close. Ah! I said I'm close, and then it just messes with me. 
messes with me good. And there we go. Woo! Yeah! Oh yeah, that was easy, yeah. Look at those graphical dots. <laughs> It's just, it sort of blends in and it goes all dark like that, though. You know, with those lines in the center and whatnot. Alright. What, what, what? Oh. oh, well. Um. I missed some dialogue there, but whatever, whatever. I'm I'm just in a hurry here, because this thing is... <laughs> it's a thing, let's put it that way. So, I just... Ah! I'm more interested in getting it done, I guess. <laughs> I, I think there's actually dialogue after each game, come to think of it. Uh, but, well, I could be wrong about that. But in any case, you shall see for yourself, I guess, when you play it, because I really don't feel like replaying this, if you understand what I mean. <laughs> and I gotta say, the easiest ones to get are the ones that are, like, Banjo and Kazooie are jumping around in, because you get to actually see where they are in relation to the picture and on the pieces off to the side, if you if your eyes are, like, everywhere around the area. Uh, that's an edge piece, yes. Uh-huh. I'm just kind of grabbing pieces that I that I see go places, rather than edges first. Uh, I, I'm just finding that to be the better strategy for me uh, right now. Just the way I'm visualizing things, like rather than doing edges first, I'm just doing whatever I see immediately and then just kind of running with it. And, and there we go! Woo! Battle's bonus five now! <laughs> and of course, one more freeze for the road, but it unfreezes a couple seconds later, delightful. Alright, there we go. Number six. Mad Monster Mansion. And I see this one flipped right from the bat. Yeah, you can actually watch the pieces and get an idea of where the poop they go just by, you know, trying to... Like when they separate from the actual puzzle thing. Wait, this is a... Yeah, it's gotta go. <laughs> it's on that side. But yeah, if you watch the pieces as they pop out of the frame, you can get an idea of, well, at least some of them, because, you know, it's kind of hard to watch all of them with your eyes at once. I don't know anyone who could do that. I mean, there's probably someone, but I don't know who. <laughs> ah, here's another thing that I can use to match up using the power of sprites, because ye old teehee is teeheeing it up on that spot, so I'm just kind of piling in the pieces wherever I see the green. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's gotta go. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's right, it's, uh, yeah, it's a lower piece. No, wait, wait, not there. There! <laughs> Notes, I can use those. Yes. Uh, mm, mm. I see a picture frame. That can go. Uh, that's a corner piece, so that's a pretty, pretty simple piece, but still. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. By the way, uh, the idea, of course, is just to keep moving. Don't let that timer run out. Um, um e uh, here, yes. Because you don't want to redo this, especially if it keeps freezing. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, even if you fail at a puzzle, you can still redo the same puzzle. So it's not that big of a deal. Just look at the, pic the picture of bottles above the fireplace again, and you're good to go. There we go! Woo! Oh, yeah! Are you sure about that, bottles? Are you sure? Um, there we go. <laughs> we won't get our answer until a couple seconds later. <laughs> Big bottles bonus. Ooh, a new code. Well, anyway. Uh, wait, wait. What the? Oh? Oh, no. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> By the way, if you want to revert the effects of these, you just hit no bonus in the, uh, oh, uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> you just hit, uh, you just type in no bonus at the, uh, uh, Treasure Trove Cove Sandcastle thingajigger, and you will be back to normal, let's put it that way. And this is by far the hardest one, because you've got the powers that be that is a very yellow honeycomb. And a lot of moving polygons and stuff like that, so do your best to do this quick. 
So, uh huh? Uh huh. And wait, wait, I just seen the tip top of. Wait, wait, yeah, I was there. The tip top of one of those honeycombs on the wall. And you know, you climb up to get out of there as Banjo. You gotta fly through that hole at the, the bottom left square. Well, one of the bottom left squares. Oops. Uh, if you are a bee, I don't know why I'm talking about that. You've seen the walkthrough. At least I hope you've seen the walkthrough because otherwise you have no idea what area I'm talking about in general. <laughs> oh, you and your freeziness. So yeah, it looks like that there's seven puzzles actually. Uh, oh shoot, that's right. That's a, yeah, it goes there. It's got the two male ends and they go on the upper and right side edges. Oh shoot, this one I think is gonna come close. Especially if it keeps freezing! <laughs> okay, maybe not. The freezing actually does help a little bit, but uh, not that much. It's not significant enough, I think. Because there's still the lag factor messing me up. Well, I'm actually playing this one more piece. Yeah! <laughs> one more freeze for the road. <laughs> Woo! I did not. Well, okay, I, I technically did. I, I sort. Look at that graphical glitch in this game. Wow, that's kind of trippy, actually. <laughs> All right, wishy washy banjo is the last code. And I do believe that is all you can get from this, although I think you can replay the, uh, uh, the puzzle thingajiggers here, if I would like to go, like, say, oh shoot, uh, well, um, well, yes, <laughs> get it, get your notepads here, get them, get them written down, go, 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 <laughs> big bottles bonus is the variation in wishy-washy banjo, um, uh, wait, wait, hold on a sec, just wanna... Uh, okay, so yeah, I am out here, I don't have to do any more of these stinkers, I am done. I completed them, but I just wanna see, can you actually replay those? I don't remember if you can or not. I'm pr I thought you could. I could be wrong, though. Or at least not unless you reset the game. Uh, yeah, it's just giving me the reminder again. So, okay, with that, I'm gonna end off this video here. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video when I get into the codes. Not just bottles codes, either. Black screen transition.